Hello everyone. Once again a warm welcome for our YouTube channel Yami Fertility and IVF Center. So I'm Dr. Sankal and my wife Dr. Swati we both are working here at Yami Fertility and IVF Center at Indore. So continuing our Q&A series. So today's question is uh, what is PCOD or PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome? Now uh, PCOD is sort of a misnomer because it's not a disease, it's a syndrome. A syndrome means it's a constellation of various findings. So uh, you should not be, if, if at all somebody tells you, a doctor tells you that you're having polycystic ovaries, you should not be thinking that you're a disease. That is the first information I would like to give you. Now, what exactly do you mean by polycystic ovaries? Because patients do come to me asking that doctor, do I have, a doctor has told me that I have cysts in the ovaries and they need to be removed. Unfortunately, I think uh, you're not getting it correct as to what the situation is. So polycystic ovary, what it does mean is that uh, you have a lot of eggs in the ovaries or a lot of follicles in very plain and simple terms, which are more than uh, normally present at your age. Now, how exactly does that happen? So the issue is that uh, in polycystic ovarian syndrome, that is PCOS, uh, the eggs don't uh, grow in the rate which they are supposed to and they do not come out of the ovary, that is ovulation does not take place. So in a regular cycle, in a lady who doesn't have a polycystic ovary and who is having regular periods, what happens is her follicles grow at an expected rate and around 14th day or somewhere there around she ovulates, that is the egg comes out of the ovary, then her progesterone hormone go up and then the hormone again dips down. So that's what which leads to periods coming again for her in the next cycle. In polycystic ovary, because the follicles don't form, so the follicles don't grow in the rate which they're supposed to, so they just grow to a marginal extent. So for example, in natural, in, in lady who's not having a polycystic ovary and having a regular cycle, the smaller follicle, which are around two millimeter in, in diameter, they increase to 20 millimeter in diameter, increase by 10 folds, and then it ovulates. In polycystic ovary, the same two millimeter follicle, it grows to half the size, so say around 10 millimeters, and then it stops growing. That's the reason the ovulation does not take place and that's the reason that the periods don't come at a regular interval. How does it affect the fertility? So as you know that to get pregnant you need both eggs as well as the sperms and when they combine then only the embryo forms and then only the pregnancy happens. When there are no eggs coming out of the ovary the embryo cannot form and you cannot have a pregnancy. So that's in brief about polycystic ovarian syndrome. It also leads to changes in the hormone levels and uh, that's the main reason why this particular situation happens in certain ladies. Uh, but it is not something of which is of their fault. So one thing you should remember is that uh, you could not have done anything to change it because this happens to have this is this might have happened to you from the uh, more towards the, from the genetic aspect because it was decided when you were in your mother's uterus inside your mother's womb that you are supposed you're going to develop polycystic ovarian syndrome so it has a genetic nature i hope this information was helpful to you so if you have any further doubts, please ask me in the comment section and please give your comments as to whether you like the video or not. And uh, this is Dr. Sankalp uh, from Yami Fertility and IVF Center, Vijayanagar Indore. Our contact details are here. In case you want to contact us, please do feel free. Me and Dr. Swati will be very happy to help you out. Thank you.